Hey everybody and welcome to the Ask the Advisor show. I'm Mike DeSepoli and this is episode number 70. Today I want to share with you 10 easy to implement tips that will improve your finances right now. You know, I know in the age of instant gratification, many investors delay getting involved, investing, saving, and building a future because they don't see that instant gratification. They don't understand how small contributions over a long period of time will lead to bigger things down the road. And it's very difficult for them to quantify that. So I want to share 10 quick, easy tips that you can start working on today to get your finances in better shape. Tip number one, control your spending, right? It takes money to make money and you're never gonna get anywhere if you're spending more than you're making. This all comes down to having a budget, having a plan and knowing what's flowing in and what's flowing out. Number two, you have to grow your income. Obviously this one goes without saying, everybody out there wants to grow their income and we all plan to do so through the lifespan of our careers. And it's gonna be important for you to continually grow your income in order to keep up with the expenditures around you and, and have additional funds for the goals and objectives that you wish to meet. Step number three is invest for the long term. Don't worry about what's happening next week or next month. Your investment should be geared to an overall strategy with long-term focuses in mind. And anytime you think about deviating from that strategy, I want you to ask yourself, why did I start investing in the first place? If you can tie that to a longer term goal, it will be much easier for you to stay on track. Tip four, you gotta avoid debt, all right? Not all debt is bad. There is good ways to use debt and to use it responsibly, but debt tends to be the number one financial burden that causes people a lot of stress. And this is all due to credit cards because now we can spend money before we have earned it. So manage your debt wisely, use it when you need to, but don't get let it get out of control and definitely don't let those bills get too high to the point that you're unable to fulfill your payments. Number five, marry well, okay? And that doesn't mean you should go out and pick a spouse based upon their net worth or their investable assets. But what this means is there's nothing that can wreck your finances quicker than a spouse with terrible financial habits and poor credit. So it's make sure you get a handle on these things with your a significant other, your loved one, your spouse, whatever relationship that you're in, it's good to know, you know, the personal financial characteristics of both people that are involved. This way, if there's any items that you need to take care of before you get married and join your finances, you can spend some time and put some attention to that. Next, track your net worth and your cash flow. In 2018, this is so easy to do with a lot of the sites online. For our clients at Heritage, we provide them with Heritage CFO, which is the digital platform that tracks all money movement in their personal financial portfolios but there's a plenty of other services out there that you can get smartphone apps right on your phone and track your cash flow the more you know the better you stay in touch and the better you can spot opportunities as well as weaknesses in your personal finances tip number eight you got to have good insurance coverage quickest way to go broke is to have a major healthcare event and not have the appropriate insurance coverage, right? We all have insurance coverages, but most people don't understand them. It's very important that you take a closer look, try to understand what you're covered for, what you're not. So this way you can plan for that, you know, hopefully that emergency that never happens, but at least you understand the financial impacts. If you're not sure about your insurance coverage, call your broker. They should be able to walk you through it very easily, explain coverage limits and, and let you know what you're actually paying for. The time to find out the coverage you have is not after something's happened but beforehand okay tip number nine is if you're building some net worth you're building an estate you always want to have a will right if you have people in your life that you care about family members friends and you want to direct those assets to them in the event of your untimely death it's very important that you set forth these instructions ahead of time and you can do so by having a will people that pass away with no will or no instructions in place all it leaves is a bunch of strife and fighting between the family because everybody's jockeying for what they think is rightfully theirs. so speak with an estate planning attorney and make sure you have a will drafted up and number 10 establish an emergency fund it's always good to have some money accessible in the bank just in case something goes wrong something pops up a major expenditure that you need to meet 
having an emergency fund will allow you to leave your investments alone, let them continue to grow and stay on track with your financial plan. So there it is guys, 10 quick and easy tips that you can implement starting today. These will improve your personal financials right away. Uh, pick any one of them and start there. They're very easy to implement, but if you need any help, if you have any questions on how to implement these things, you can reach out to me. We always enjoy your questions. Also, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Feel free to share this video with any of your friends and family. We want to make sure all investors are increasing their return on life as much as possible and we want to give you the information and the knowledge to arm you to do so thanks guys for watching we'll see you back next week for episode 71